Hey folks, how you doing? It's Mikey. I got a bit of an experiment going on here right now. Um, if you watched one of my prior videos, um, I told you about a score I made on some tobacco. Uh, it's four bucks a can, but it's past its best buy date. Don't know if you can read that one. That one's best buy was March 10th, 2024. So I went out and I found a can of fresh. Unfortunately, it's not the freshest, but it's the best I could find. Everyone else was either sold out or they didn't carry it. And this one is October 6th, which is a couple of weeks away from now. Today is September 20th, 2024. I wanted to do a little side-by-side -side comparison to see if six months past date is going to hold up against something that's still within its best buy. So I've already busted the bands, pop these bad boys open. From appearance, just some light. I would say that the one that the Best Buy looks like it has a slightly bit higher moisture content. It's hard to say. This one does have a chunk of something in there. A little piece of tobacco. Um, if you didn't notice, this is Copenhagen's Extra Long Cut Natural. Now, I have never tried a natural. This will be my first time. And I've never tried an extra long cut. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Let's feel. Yeah. Can't really feel much of a difference here. Let me put a little bit down on the paper towel. For comparison. So, you zoom in a little bit there. Get that out of the shadow. It does appear that the fresher stuff does have slightly more moisture. Um, this stuff still has moisture. It feels moist. It's just not rubbing out very well on the paper towel. Now they got little bits in my hand. Yeah. This stuff is a little drier, but it does have moisture. This one is more moist. So six months past date, it did lose some moisture. Now from what I've been reading, I can add a drop or two of water. Mix this up in here and let it rehydrate just a touch although it's not it's not dry it's still got moisture to it it's just not as moist as that one so there's our little experiment yeah i would say I can ball them both up, but this one, you know, certainly I can definitely tell just by feeling them to both together. Um, moist, but not as moist as the fresh. So I can either do this as is, and it'll just be a little bit drier, take a little bit more time to juice up, because it's not bone dry. It's still got moisture to it. Or I could add a little bit of water and bring it back to that moisture level. Um, price difference, I paid $4 for the expired can. I paid $7.25 for this, which, by the way, is the best price I have found on dip anywhere in my county so far. And believe it or not, where I found it, there's a place in the area here in southern Oregon. Um, it's a pet store of all places. Yes, you heard me right. It's a pet store that happens to have one of the better selections of tobacco in the area. Go figure. Um... It's kind of a weird business model, but they're a full-on pet store. They got the dog food and the pet beds and leashes and flea treatments, aquarium reptile supplies, all that stuff. But behind the counter, they have a wide assortment of roll-your-own, uh, pre-made cigarettes, a little bit of bulk pipe tobacco slash roll-your-own cigarette, and they have a decent selection of dip. When it comes to chew, no. They only have Levi Garrett, and they want way too much for it. I don't know who does their pricing, but they need to wake up. Um, but for the cans of dip, 
Copenhagen under eight dollars a can that's the best deal I found anywhere so far so anyway um, yeah it's got that one it kind of fluffs up a little bit this one I can do the same thing but yeah feeling the two actually now that I get into the deeper into the can a little bit I can't tell much difference deeper into the can not much difference the pinch on the surface I could yeah see that one from deeper in the can it's even a pretty good streak right there and deeper in the can here give it a little bit yeah yeah still more moisture in the fresher one so that's what I'm I wasted some tabasco tobacco but yeah I'll probably scoop it up and throw it back in a can so I've got a decision to make do I do this one as is and realize that when I'm tasting natural for the first time that this one isn't at full moisture content or actually what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'll try them both I'll start with the fresh one first get the full natural experience and then I'll try this one and maybe I'll see if I can do a side by side and see if I can tell any difference between the texture but um, if this one's good for me to try as is and I like it uh, I'm gonna go back to where I got it because they have like two full rolls of this stuff at four bucks a can I might grab the, a roll if I really like this natural I'll grab both and I'll just vacuum seal them and throw them in the deep freeze pull them out as I need them you know maybe rehydrate if necessary but from feeling it it's not that bad so maybe just sitting for six months it was sitting flat like that in a box for months so I wonder if I just turn it upside down for a while if any moisture that made its way to the bottom here will make its way back up I'm not sure that'll be an interesting one to try but I'm sure they're good and sealed anyway that has been the grand experiment between oops I lost my thing best by date from six months ago versus best by date is going two weeks from now um, there we have it freshness does make a bit of a difference however this is not bone dry it is moist um, it's just not as moist and I'll just leave it at that um, I'll do another video here shortly and I'll do my very first try on a natural and be on my very first try on what they call an extra long cut as well thanks for watching this is Mikey stay tuned